And here in Korea, the number of one-person households have been on the rise in recent years as an increasing number of young people choose to delay or even completely forego marriage. This relatively new demographic has sparked off a so-called solo economy and a wave of new consumer trends. Park ji reports. Single-person households now make up more than 25 percent of Korea's total households. Statistics Korea says the ratio will increase to 1 in 3 by 2035. The rising number of singles in the country has begun to make an impression on the economy, and their distinct lifestyle is changing the landscape of the consumer market. For example, home appliance companies have been keen to cater to their special needs, rolling out products like mini rice cookers and small load washing machines to slimmer refrigerators. The businesses say solo dwellers prefer appliances that are well equipped with multi-functions in refined and compact designs. Increased revenues for convenience stores is another indication of the growing presence of single-person households. Recent statistics by the Bank of Korea show the amount of credit card transactions from January to July at convenience stores this year has increased about 15 percent from the same period last year, while large chain retailers saw a decrease, largely due to a slump in consumer spending after the April fair disaster. Analysts say an increase in sales for convenience stores is closely linked to the purchasing habits of single people. The purchasing power of solo dwellers has turned out to be stronger than that of three to four member households, according to the Korea Chamber of Commerce and Industry. As the country's population of single people continues to grow, so has demand for single person housing units and personal finance managers to help them prepare for their senior years alone. Park Ji Won, Arirang News.